wasabi you guys we have a very cool looking integral here right these you know these exponents are kind of distracting and intimidating because we recognize these as Pythagorean triples especially this right this is like throwing us off like why the heck would they write it like this why not just x why do they write it as 25 over 25 very very weird huh so the beginner way that most people would do is they would do power substitution and so they would just be like you know what i just want to you know take it easy just let u equal 25 and then go home with the rest of my day but the actual solution is actually far sneakier um, it's actually a caveman trick and it, it does it does not look like it at first for obvious reasons but this is secretly a caveman trick and it's all because of due to the Pythagorean triples so if we take out x to the uh, 925 okay we take out x to 925 we get plus 1 here but then here what do we get well we'll take away x uh, to the power of 9 over 25 from this x right and what is this this is 25 uh, minus 9 what is that 16 right Pythagorean triples so now we have a square of x to the power of 16 over 25 right and you're probably thinking okay but how does this help well that's the thing is well the thing is u is equal if we let u equal to 16 over 25 then the du is equal to 16 over 25 and what is x minus 1 minus 25 you get 9, negative 9 over 25. And what is this? That's negative 9 over 25. Right? You see how sneaky that is? So, very sneaky. These Pythagorean numbers, they kind of uh, behave this way. So, now this is just... Um, I just need to make sure that I don't have a negative out. But, this is now... What? 16 over 20. So we need 25. I almost messed up there. I'm like, wait, something's not right. But no. Okay, so we have 25 over 16. Okay, because it flips to the du. Okay. And then here, now our du is simply u squared plus 1. So our answer here is 25 over 16. Inverse tangent of u. And what is u? x to the power of 16 over 25 okay and that is our answer so uh, the easiest way is to do power substitution although I don't know if that's what if that leads to a nicer integral here I could check right if I let u uh, if I let u over 25 to equal to x what happens is you just end up with this and then you get like what you get 25, uh, this is technically x, so u to the power of 25 times uh, u to the power of 16 plus u9, and then you have to take away uh, 9, so it's like what, 1 plus 16 square, which is pretty much, I don't, well, uh, 32, sorry u to the power of 32, but I'm just going to leave it as this. I think that should be okay. Uh, 24 minus 9, what is that? I don't, I actually have no idea what that is. That's like 15. Oh, okay, and then you just do u sub here. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, and then you just, that immediately gives you this u to the power of 16. And then you just plug in x25. Yeah, I guess power substitution, that works too. Uh, just don't just don't lose yourself okay <laughs> but the I feel like the the official way is to do cavemen uh, which is harder to see I don't blame you this is a lot harder to see uh, so you know if you're more comfortable with power substitution go ahead uh, but I think the faster route would be cavemen uh, 
just be very careful when you derive. Okay? All right. I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.